morning. It's flooring day for the van. We, uh, last night after we got home from our supply run to town, we started messing around with the, um, the furring strips that we're going to put down on the floor. And then we realized, well, we need a template. So the factory flooring that was here originally will serve as a great basic template for us. We needed to make things a little more specific so we don't have large gaps around the edges. So this morning, uh, after we had put the uh, factory flooring back in, this morning we went around and we did all these marks. We made all these notes so we can extend the flooring out to the face edge of the door there. Uh, we've got a good spot there. And then all these little marks, you know, we need to add an eighth in that corner, add three eighths along this edge, going around the wheel wells, three eighths, one eighth, just where we need to add the flooring to, to make this a tight fit. We also removed this trim piece from uh, the rear tailgate area. Our floor will extend to the face edge of this, and um, we will reinstall that trim piece on top of our flooring to make it a nice clean finished edge. So we need to add seven inches to the overall uh, length here for that piece. So that's what we did this morning. Sherry worked on getting the garage cleared out so we can lay our flooring bits there in the garage. We've got those all laid out. We are ready now to remove this factory rubber flooring, lay it on top of our boards, and start drawing lines <laughs> and hopefully cutting correctly. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of people go from this and then they make like a cardboard template uh -huh. or cheap plywood or something, mm -hmm. and then they put it on their hardwood, yeah. but we're just going right in. We're just going to go for it. I mean, it, it's it's going to be very close. Um, we want it very close to perfect. I, I think we'll do okay. Yeah. There's two of us. So we can haul those sheets in and out. Yeah, yeah. If it was just one person. Yeah. Well, be... and, and really, they're only going to be the four foot width, and they're only going to be six feet yeah. long at the most. Yeah. Actually, five foot nine at the most, so it, yeah. it's not it's not terrible. So Okay. Here we'll we get go. back to you on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and ba Bailey has like a really good friend. This kitten has shown up. Cute. Wouldn't you, Bailey? Come here. Oh, there's a dog barking. This little kitty showed up the other day. Hi, buddy. You're adorable. He's just the cutest, sweetest thing. Very curious. Very playful. Yeah, very, very playful. Rough, rough and tumble. Little Jeez. Boy. Yeah. It was all we can do to keep him out of the van and keep him out of the garage. He's very curious. So here's our sheets of maple plywood, ready to start drawing lines on. Here's our factory floor laid out on our plywood sheets. I have traced around the edge of the whole thing. And then on the first sheet, I've made uh, the lines based on the measurements that we needed. So we're with the notch and do all those things. This side, I've added, uh, I've added what I needed to add based on what I measured while this was in place in the vehicle. We're going to take these out into the yard, this first piece, and cut it with a jigsaw and dry fit it in place and see how it looks. Hopefully, we did it right. I have confidence. Not bad. And notch a little bit off that corner and then we can see what we yep. see what we've got there. Yeah. I am happy with it so far.
we have a floor. Somewhat. We need to, uh, obviously nothing is screwed or glued or secured in any way, any way, but we were able to get it all lined up. Uh, we've made marks so we know how to line, how to, you know, mate these two pieces again. We've made lines so they have to match up. We've got marks uh, on the wall so we know where they have to match up. And I think we're good for the day. We have a dinner date. We're gonna go meet our friends uh, Kim and Dave in Davenport and have dinner there. Uh, it's two o'clock, so we probably should uh, put our toys away and get ourselves cleaned up so we can go have dinner. But uh, day one of flooring is complete. What did we do? Oh, we pulled this off here. We pulled this back piece off here. Let's show you real quick. Uh, this back, oh, pull that off. This back trim piece was on the metal, um, the metal back bumper of the van. So we pulled that off. We got the flooring to come out all the way to the edge right there. We made made the curved line of the back bumper, uh, and we're gonna refit this on. I'm gonna do a little work and cut all these little guys down, and I think we're just gonna glue it in place here. That'll leave a nice finished edge to this right here. So it's a little, a little bit of an involved project there instead of just butting it flat up against the, uh, the trim piece. But I think overall it will look nicer and we'll be happier with it. So, all right, that's flooring day one in the books. Got her done. grid all laid out uh, for the most part and I've got everything marked so I know how to put it all back together again once I take it apart. I'm going to remove these uh, in bits and glue as I go. Uh, we also cut out a piece of insulation and kind of set it in there just to see how that would look. That's nice and flush. That'll, that'll be great. So all these holes will have insulation in them um, to help insulate the van to help sound in all of that. Sherry is out here. We've taken all the floor panels out. She's been sanding and preparing for primer. We're going to get those primed today, the back side. Uh, and then I think we're going to install them and prime the top side once they're in place. We're going to prime the top sides of all these as well. We're going to glue them down first and then just prime the top sides of them. Um, that's about it for the progress for today. I think our vent fan brackets are coming sometime today, and there's something coming tomorrow. Oh, I think the shelf bracket. We ordered brackets to make a shelf here. Uh, I think those shelf brackets are coming tomorrow also, so 
I'm not sure. We might make a run to town and get the, the fan bits, depending on how far we get on the floor. If we get pretty far with the floor today, we might just start the fans tomorrow. Not sure. But uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We put in all the large sections that go side to side and then we spanned them with our unistrut pieces so they go across all of them this way then we've crossed those with a board with weight so between the weight of the unistrut bits and the weight of like the paint cans and the buckets I think we should be good uh, I'm going to wait to put in all the bracket or the bracing pieces that are going to go front to back in between the side to side boards for extra support. We'll let this sit up, set up for a little while. It's only just now 11 o'clock, so by the time we're ready to start uh, calling it a day, the glue should be set enough on these cross pieces that we can remove all of this. I can put in the supports the little bits in between uh, and put weight on those and um, let that set overnight and then tomorrow we can put the floor, floor panels in that that should be that should be fine so we'll let this set for a while we're gonna go have lunch after having all the uh, main cross members glued down and secure uh, in place there were sections where the um, well, like this, for example, uh, there's a rib here that we can rest on, but the under, other end of it, there was no rib, so this was just a little bit spongy. So I went around wherever there were gaps like this, and I put little spacers in and glued them in place. Did one there, did one here. Just found a bunch of little scraps of thin uh, wood laying around. Got those in uh, all the places that needed it. Now I'm starting to put the insulation in between uh, all these squares. Uh, all that requires me to do is uh, measure the opening, uh, transfer the measurements onto the 4 by 8 sheets of insulation, cut out a square, and stick it down in place. Uh, it's a nice tight fit. It's all real snug. Um, the floor is going to be floating mainly on the boards, not the insulation. And the reason why we put spacers in here is so that in areas where there's high traffic like this is the entryway so there's going to be a lot of walking on this part of the floor we wanted cross bracing so that it takes up most of the weight of our walking and standing and, and just moving around and not the insulation because this this can dimple this is soft and over time if there was a large space here with no cross supports you know the floor it, it because it's only half inch, the floor could kind of bow a little and compress this down. So that's why the spacers are there. That's why it isn't just one continuous two foot uh, wide channel. 
I'm going to continue doing that. This shouldn't take me too long. Like I said, it's just a matter of measuring, cutting, and sticking in. This piece here, let me just address this real quick. As far as the bracing of the floor goes, um, our floor extends to about here. And there was no rib here in this area to attach a one by two. So we have to make up the difference in space there. And by using two thicknesses of what is ultimately our flooring, that brings it up flush. So uh, I will, I just want Sherry to look at this and make sure that we're all on the same page as to what we're doing here. And if this is good and acceptable, piece is a little bit bowed here, but it'll, it'll drop down. Uh, if this is acceptable and we're all on the same page with how this should be done, I will go ahead and glue this down, put some weights on it and hold it overnight. And then it'll be ready to put the final full piece of flooring on. And then back here, we need a 5 8 inch spacer here between the uh, inside of the van floor and what is technically the tailgate area, the, ta the, the back uh, inside bumper area of the van. If you remember, we had the trim piece here. I pulled that off to um, just be able to extend the flooring right out to the edge. And then that trim piece will be installed back on top of the finished floor. Just give it a, a prettier look to the end there. We do have to cut out for uh, this little guy right there. That is how you drop the spare tire that is underneath the van. So we need to make sure when we put our flooring on, um, we transfer the space in the trim piece uh, down through the flooring and through the bracing that's going to go on here uh, and access that. So this is the only other piece of trim that we have to do besides the piece up front and then we'll be ready for flooring as soon as the insulation gets put in. our floor today. Uh, I went ahead and transferred the measurements I took the other day uh, for the grid pattern. You know this grid pattern that we have here underneath where we put the insulation all in between. I transferred that grid pattern uh, based on the measurements and the drawings that I did to the top of the floor so I know where to put the screws. We uh, caulked a little bit around the edges. First we lifted up the, the panel caulked around some of the edges and then we put glue on all the boards uh, and then laid the flooring back down, lined everything up two times and then three times and then finally a fourth time and figured we got it pretty close. Uh, put the board down and started screwing it. So it's good. It doesn't squeak, it doesn't bounce, nothing. We're going to leave the weights on here for a little bit. We've got plenty of screws in here that we should be fine. Take a little break and then we'll work on this section. Do the same thing, transfer the weights over to here and then we'll wait a little bit, we'll do this section and then find the fourth smallest section. So that's the goal and the plan for today is to get this floor in. Our floor is glued and screwed in place. It is solid. Really, really liking this. This is nice and solid. Nothing shifts, nothing squeaks. There's no sponginess to it at all. 
Uh, and I don't know if we mentioned before or not, but we kept this area over the entryway. Let me come out here and show you. We would like to keep this as a solid floor. So if we're standing in this area at the end of our counter, uh, where the stove is going to be, and we're preparing something or cooking or doing anything, we, ha we can stand here instead of having to have the floor end here and jog down into a step. This little well area is a step. So we're hoping we can figure out a way to keep that as a full floor, not have the step here. Uh, and in doing that, it means outside of the van, we're going to need to carry something with us that is about, about 20 inches tall. It'll come to about here in the big picture of things. And then that would leave about an eight inch drop down from here to the top of the whatever step we have. Uh, right now we're just using a milk crate that works perfect if you have a step. If you come up here and, and actually step into where the where the step normally is. Right now it's a pretty big jump and it's an even bigger jump going down. It feels bigger. But anyway, that's it. That's our floor. That project, that part of the flooring project is checked off the list. Now we just need to figure out what we want to use for uh, floor covering. Many different options. We wanted to do sheet vinyl, just single sheet of uh, vinyl. I'm not sure if we're going to do that yet or not. Um, anyway, there's a lot of options. We'll see where that, uh, where that thought process takes us, but right now the floor is secured in place. Oh, I just made a mess. Clean up on aisle two. When we removed this trim piece off of the, uh, the back tailgate, it used to sit right down here on the metal, on these ribs, um, I had the idea to make this a tailgate once the floor was on. The only problem is, now the back of it has all these raised fins here, if you can see, uh, all along the bracket. So I thought, well, I'll bet I can shave those off with uh, our fine tool, our oscillating saw, and I was right. I played a little bit with this last night. I cut all these off here, and starting into this row here, that oscillating saw does a great, great, great job. So I'm gonna finish cutting this out for flat so that we can glue it onto this edge here once we get our, our final floor on. Now I think that will look really nice. That'll just give it a, give it a good finish uh, and it'll protect the edge of the plywood here because this will be our garage area. So we definitely wanna have something that will be good and durable and protect the edge here. Uh, we have the plugs to put in here, by the way, that we took out when we removed it. But I, I think that'll be that'll be a good solution to what to do with the back end of the van. So let me set this up on my table and get the saw back out and start chopping away at this. Well, I'm all set up over here to cut out the rest of this, um, the underside of this trim piece. For the tailgate. We've got the fine tool plugged in and ready to go. We've had this for, I don't know, we've had this tool for 12 years? Longer? Did we bring it from Hawaii? Um, we got this in Hawaii. We've had this for I think we did. 15 or 16 years. I love this tool. This has come in so handy for so many different things over the years. And now, today, let me switch hands here. I'm going to use it to get a flat edge here and I'm going to cut underneath all of these plastic bits.
All right, Chris finished taking out all the plastic bits. Yeah, that came out pretty good actually. Just a couple little cleanups to do where there's still some some heavy bits, but it's kind of like that stuff oh, that like yeah, when you were a kid or whatever, like your models came all connected yeah. with plastic yeah, or your toys. Neat. I can't remember what toys I used to get that was mm -hmm. all connected, but anyway. Yeah. That's kind of neat stuff. It reminds me of that. Um, so this should just fit right in uh, on the tailgate. Now it'll, it'll set flat. All right, let's see if it fits. It sets flat right there like that. That's perfect. Wow, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, we can glue that down. Uh, we have the cap covers for these guys, the black ones. This is where you need to have access to get to uh, the spare tire. You put a thing in there and you turn it to drop the spare tire down. Um, we'll figure out how to cover this over if we think we need to. Um, I'm gonna take a hole saw. Yeah, I'm going to trace this out and drill a hole saw through here so that we can access um, the nut, I guess you'd call it, to drop the spare tire. And we'll figure it out. We just might leave it as an open hole or I'll find something else to put over it. But I think that'll be a great solution to this, uh, what do we do with the back tailgate question. Looks good. I think it looks great. I think Sherry thought I was crazy when I said I wanted to do that, but no, I think, why not? Go for it. Why not? So there it is. So as soon as we figure out the flooring we're going to put down in here, we can glue this in place. So. Gotta drill that hole out first. Well done. Thanks. Get out. Oh. I'm helping. Are you helping? Are you helping, really? Hey, hey. Are we playing? Come here. Turd. Where's Bailey? She's supposed to be keeping you she out of here. She's supposed to be keeping you. What are you doing? Look at scratching noises. I think we're playing. No. No.